Happy Saturday. Welcome to Fox Business Network. We're alive. We're awake. We're having fun already. We yeah. always have fun here. We got, we're having fun. Dig is getting ready for her uh, 12 o'clock how No, so that's make later sure in the show. In. One thirty, then we get a re re redo. Yeah. All right, we got Shane in Connecticut calling. Hey, Shane, what's your question? Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Sure, Shane. I, I find myself uh, able to invest a little bit more money towards retirement. Mm -hmm. I've maxed my uh, Roth contribution, and I meet my 403B's 4% contribution with my own 5% withholding. Should I increase that withholding, or is there a third option that I could pursue? Well, bravo for saving all that money in this economy. <clears throat> what do you think, Doug? I think he's doing it the right way. I think you, what you want to do is you want to take any free money first, do the employer match. Mm -hmm. Then you want to hop over to the Roth because anything tax-free down the road is much better than tax-deferred that you have to pay taxes on. But once you've done that, if you have extra money, you should look back to the 403B or 401K and bump that up to the max, because it is still tax-deductible money, mm -hmm. and it grows tax-deferred. Unless your primary goal isn't retirement, and you want to accumulate a bunch of money for retirement. But if it is, then that's a great strategy. But, Joe, there's a concern out there these days that the Obama administration is raising taxes... So when I get to retirement, there's a very strong possibility that my current tax rate will be much higher, and there goes the whole notion of deferring income. Absolutely. And there, you know, you are always going to have people talk about uh, the possibility of a VAT type tax to try to get the Roth money taxed in another right. way, too. I, I would agree with the Roth side. I would be very, very careful in deferring too much money. Always look for diversification. That's in investments and in the tax side. Now, if you've got a, a reasonable outside account of, of retail money that you've also built along with the Roth, which really isn't accessible, it's retirement. The 403, which really isn't accessible, it's retirement. I would start to build that other nest egg. Mm -hmm. And before you put more money in the 403B or 401K, if you choose to go that way, make sure you've got good investments. Mutual funds are not all alike. There's good ones and there's bad ones. So make, make sure your choices are in line and successful there also. Thank you. Robert, if you have money to invest through a retirement account, what do you buy? I don't have a retirement account. I don't need one. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not qualified to speak on that. I think these guys are better to speak on that than I am. But, Robert, the people who read your books have them. I know, but I just don't recommend them. I don't like them personally. You wouldn't. All right, but if I, I, pe people should have them. I, I don't. Okay. I just don't like that them. That was personally. my question. So if you are, you have a four hundred one k plan at work, you would tell people to participate in it. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm, I leave that up to them. I don't tell them that stuff. Okay. You know, I, I'll, I'm still an advocate of financial education. If you have financial education, you don't need one of those. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Representative Terry, let's it, talk about... Let's Wait, talk Doug, about, what? It's just it, it, along Joe's theme of diversification, you're diversifying your investment strategy, too, because as you've seen, real estate doesn't always go up. And um, things can go in and out of Jesus. favor, and tax things do change. But they might change underlying investment... Uh, and tax ramifications on homes. They might take away the property tax deductions or the income tax deduction. So I think diversifying in your tax strategy, as Joe said, your investment strategy, this is along the lines of diversifying investment strategy. I, I, I don't like the bias towards one thing over the other, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. One investment over another, one right. tax strategy over the other. Keep an open mind and spread it out. That's how you can plan uh, every way. Covering all your bases. Covering all your bases. Representative Terry, I know that we're going to lose you in a few minutes. Can we talk about this um, overall tax hike on everyone? We were talking earlier about how health care is probably going to throw some surcharge at us. But are the regular individual rates inevitably going to go up for people? Especially in the top bracket. First of all, the uh, 01 and 03 tax cuts uh, are scheduled now by already voted upon. Uh, they'll phase out at the end of 2010. So that's already going to be a hike. Estate tax will come back in, many other taxes. And then on the uh, health care pay fors, uh, they're going to raise the highest bracket again by way of a surcharge, which is kind of the back way door of doing it. Uh, I would add in uh, as part of the discussion here, but now they're going to go to other spending programs of which they will need to raise taxes. Uh, and they'll always attack the for, uh, highest or second and probably the second highest tax brackets. But the other thing that they're going to do is on some of these financial products, life insurance products, there's always been talk about removing uh, their special tax treatments, mm -hmm. uh, the reasons why we would get into them as investments. And so I think we need to be uh, very cautious in Congress about uh, how we raise people's taxes, but also uh, you need to be 
uh, wary of these some of right. these hidden tricks of adding taxes onto financial products that didn't have taxes before That's why this, or were this deferred is very and then you repealed the purposes. deferment. Right. Right. Congressman, yeah. thank you so much for being here. I was leaning in. I don't know if you can see me, but I was leaning. No. I was leaning in to listen. Congressman, thank you so much for being here. Everybody, we need to wrap it up for this hour. In the next hour, it is all about real estate. We have some incredible panelists here, but a big thank you goes out to Congressman Lee Terry, Doug Flynn, Big Joe Clark is sticking around, and again, our special guest, Robert Kiyosaki, best-selling author, you. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Thanks to all you gentlemen. We will be right back.